Hi, everybody. It's Sandra from the A, originated from the Boogie Down Bronx. And don't you ever forget it. Yeah. You see what I got on? Yeah. Happy camper. The Y? Red apron means recipe. I'm cooking in the kitchen today. And guess what? I'm making pizza. I'm not making the standard, normal, everyday pizza. I'm making pizza that's gluten-free. I'm not using flour, flour. Um, I'm going to stick with my basic organic stuff or whatever. I try to throw in some vegan stuff at sometimes, you know, from time to time. There's certain things I just can't eat that's vegan. Um, and everybody can't cook vegan either. But anyway, when I'm making pizza, and in my pizza crust, the crust alone is almond flour. I put like two and a half. You can use two or you can use three. I put like two and a half cups of almond flour, which is almond flour. And I put like three tablespoons of coconut flour. You can see it's also gluten free. I use like a half a teaspoon of bacon powder. And then I use like a teaspoon of each basil and oregano and garlic powder. One take one full teaspoon of each of those. And then I added like a half a teaspoon of pepper and salt. So in this ingredient, see all the dry ingredients, you just mix them all together. And then I have to make up a wet ingredient, which will consist of three eggs and three tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm gonna whisk this together and then I'm gonna add my wet ingredients to my dry ingredients. Meanwhile, I have my mozzarella cheese waiting. I have my tomato basil pasta sauce. You can use marinara. I like tomato basil and that's like organic, that's very vegan, you know, it's just stewed tomatoes and oregano and basil and stuff in it. There's no artificial anything in that. And then I have my jar, my lucky jar of my favorite, which is mushroom. So I'm going to make one personal size cheese and one personal size mushroom personal size pie. Now, I have my coconut spray, which I sprayed down my cookie sheet so I can put personal size pieces on here. I don't have all my gadgets from New York yet, which I have pizza pans all kinds of gadgets. I just have a lot of gadgets and I use them all too. I have a pasta maker. I do that too. Yes, I make pasta. I make raviolis and everything. But today I'm making pizza and coconut spray. I sprayed down my pan. I also have my parchment paper because I'm gonna need parchment paper once I roll my dough. I need to put it in the dough and let it sit for a little while so it can rise with a little bit of olive oil on the outside of it. So I'm going to get to process in the dough and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm combining my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients so I can make my dough. So you just got to be patient. Keep going around with your ladle, smashing, flipping, folding it in. You always want to fold it first before you start flipping it around. This is, so you want to be able to immediately know if you have to add something or you have just enough. As you can see, mine is already forming into a dough. And I'm just going to get down and dirty right now. This is why I have on gloves. This is why I have on gloves. So you can actually see me go inside and start forming my dough. See, and start forming my dough. I wanna put it all together. It smells so good. Yes, yes, that's the question. It's the same almond flour I make my almond shortbread cookies from. But I'm making pizza dough. I should have enough for three pieces. It depends on the size you want it or one big one. I don't want to make a big pie. Like I said, I want to make small portions so it's easier to stall. Yeah, stall. <laughs> easier to store in the refrigerator for later. 
And you can even take some dough. Like, I'll just take a piece. This will roll out to a nice pizza. I'm going to roll this because I know I got enough for three pieces here. And roll this around. Make a nice ball out of it. Just keep rolling. See that? Give it a nice thing. See, I got enough for three. Just split it right in half and start rolling. You know, I had some dough just fly around somewhere else where it don't belong. But, yeah. I know I need to move this out a little bit because I'm too close to the camera. But that's all right. Second ball. Second ball of dough. You know, we have to watch what we say these days. See? I'm just rolling it around. Then I'll smush it down on the corners. You want that even ball. And since I have on gloves, I'm going to show you what I do. You don't have to use a brush unless you use it. You're just going to leave it. I'm just going to pour some olive oil into the glove. Gloves are perfect right now to put the olive oil on. And I'm just going to go around the balls with the olive oil before I put it in the parchment paper so they can rise. Keep in mind, you didn't notice, I did not add yeast to my pie, my pizza crust. You don't have to. Now, when I make pizza for my kids, old fashioned, yeah, I give them all the fatty stuff. They get real flour, they get yeast, they get pepperonis and stuff, whatever they want on their pizza. But I have three balls. Of dough. Take off my glove. I'll be right back. Wow. So I'm going to show you a little trick. As you can see, I'm flattening it down. What I did was I put the dough and flattened it out underneath between like a sandwich parchment paper. And then I'm taking a standing cup because unfortunately, I forgot I don't have my rolling pin either when I'm making pizza crust. And you can take a standing cup and smash down the dough that's between the parchment paper. Spread it out as much as you want, any size you want. I mean, mine's is not fully coming out round because I don't have my rolling pin, but you want it at least one inch thick. So that means you keep pressing, press like this, spin as you go around and get it as thin as you can. This is gonna be one big piece. So I probably only make eat one and put the rest in the freezer well, another time, but, and then you can take the whole thing and flip it over and do the other side to make sure it's flat. This makes it so much easier. You can do this with your any piece of crust, anything. Just make sure, oh, I got a crack. Got a crack in here. That's all right, nothing's perfect. And you see, you just peel that off and you got your piece of dough flat on here. I'm going to put it in just like this. Things happen. You peel it off and then you put it in the pan. This one has to be pushed against that one, but that's all right. You can cook the pizza crust for a little while on the parchment paper, which is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take it off. I'm going to sit it right on top. Sit it right on top. And you're gonna bake this pizza crust. You're gonna bake this on 350 for like 20 minutes. I love turning on the light. Turn on the oven light. And I'll see you in a minute. So if you missed it, once again, I took out one of the doughs from the bowl. And what I did was, I sprayed parchment paper, and I'm going to spray this one again, and I'm going to put it right on top. And this is where you're going to smash, and it should look like this when you start. Then you take your handy dandy rolling pin, and you just constantly go across until you flatten it out. Just like if you were doing a rolling pin any other way, you want to just get in there and smash it down. On all sides, so mine is flattened off of the end. Just get in and smash it. 
It don't have to be perfect. It just has to be good. You know, I'm waiting for the other crust to come out the oven. Another 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put this one right in with the top as soon as it comes out. See, that was fast. Second piece of crust, and it's still between the parchment paper. So it stays together, and all you do is like, when you separate your hamburgers, you just peel back, put it down on one side of the pan, and then peel back the rest. See, in this case, it comes right off. That's why you have to spray the paper before you flatten it out. It comes right up, and then you bake it with the other one. You don't have to take it off. We'll see what it's looking like. Okay, one pizza crust coming out the oven right now. I baked this for 15 minutes because it's made with almond flour. Now I'm going to add, ah, let me fix the camera. I'm only going to make one pizza live. I'm going to add my sauce. I don't care if it broke up. That was my fault. But I got some chunky tomato, chunky tomato and basil. Pasta sauce, let's move that over. Let me spread it around. I like a lot of sauce and I like a lot of cheese. I don't know about y'all, but I can't have pizza without a lot of cheese on it. This is gonna go back in the oven for another 10 minutes until all the cheese is melted. Mushrooms are already cooked, so I'm about to add the cheese. That's looking good already. Look at that. That's looking good. I'm going to add my cheese. I like a healthy amount of cheese. Wherever I buy pizza, and if I go on a regular, <laughs> they already know. You would like extra cheese, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, all the time. I'm going to put that cheese on there. I have a lot of cheese in the fridge. But I want to show you how good this is going to look. And you definitely want to make one. And trust me, when I tell you it's delicious, I'm just going to throw some mushrooms. Just throw them in there. Please, guys, whenever you're cooking, if you see somebody like me cooking like this, that means I washed my hands. That means don't come up in my kitchen and start pulling out stuff. Yeah, I can do some more mushrooms on me. I love mushrooms. This is like chicken for me. But I'm going to show you what it looks like before I go back in the oven. Yes, extra cheese, guys. That's a little sprinkle on top of the mushrooms. I just like a little extra. Let's see if this cooled down some. Nope. I'm glad it didn't. This is what it's looking like prior to it going back in the oven right now. I don't know why. I press pause, but that's going in the oven. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. And I have my other crust ready to go. See, this one's going in next. It's already flattened out. It got to bake for a little while. Put that back over here. I had to take out an extra dish so I could put the one that's in the oven on. But I'll see you in a minute. Hey, I'm back. Guess what? It's ready. So I'm going to take it out the oven. Oh, I had to make me some tea. It says, let's get it, baby. But when I see this side, it says Ninja, and the first thing that come to mind is my brother from another mother, the legendary Smooth B from the iconic hip hop group Nice and Smooth, in his new hot single before, he says, I hit a ninja, that's the, that's the clean copy, I hit a ninja with a lock and a sock before, so every time I see this, I crack up. But anyway, I made me some tea, I gotta have some caffeine, got my lifting tea bags, but inside my little handy dandy gadget that I showed you on my little infuser, 
I have elderberry, which builds the immune system. And I have sarsaparilla, which is for inflammation in the joints and pain and stuff like that. So I mix those two herbs together. You just pour a little bit into this little dome thing and just let it sit in your cup. Yes, I had to have some tea. Oh, y'all want to see the pizza? All right, give me a second. This is what it looks like. Unbelievable. I don't want to shut the camera off because right now my phone is stuck in a tripod and I got to get it out. But that looks delicious. Let's see if we get a close up. Let it cool down. And see, one thing good about wax paper is that you can pick the whole thing up and voila. I just put it right on the plate. So I'm going to tilt it so you can see. Oh my God, that looks wonderful. Let me see, where am I going? There you go. So I have my cheese mushroom pizza. I'll make sure I'll take a bite later while you're watching. Um, I'm going to probably do another video because I got a trick I need to show y'all. Yeah, I'm not going to cook again, but today was pizza day. Pizza Monday. I'm going to call it pizza Monday. Only once in a while for me. It's not good for you. But this is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to finish up my regular cheese pizza. Clean up. Go take care of the pool again. And I'm going to get into some trouble most likely. But this is Sandra from the A. Peace.